Okay, guys, this video <clears throat> has to do with my uh, hope of Russellville getting a community vocational building and that this building uh, will somehow be linked up with the social center um, and, you know, maybe there can be government grants or whatever in order to get this thing up and running. Um, and basically this will be for people in the community, regardless of their age, who for some reason or another either can't or don't want to go to college to learn these skills. Um, but, you know, they would rather just, you know, take the training, you know, through the community. And whether or not any of this could be accredited or anything like that, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how all that would work out. <clears throat> but it could still be something to where they can get a certificate to prove that they went through the course and all that stuff. And it may help them uh, get a job. And there may be ways to link this up with uh you know, certain jobs or whatever, maybe some factories or whatever that move into the area that, you know, require their employees to learn these skills. Maybe there's some way, you know, this can be all linked up. I don't know. Um, but, you know, regardless, I, you know, I do hope that this can be become a reality. Okay, <clears throat> here are some of the locations that I have picked out and, um, I don't know, you know, if any of these locations, um, you know, I'm just going by blind um, vision, so to speak. I don't know if, you know, if these areas can be used or not. Um, I'm just, you know, just assuming that maybe they can. I, I don't know any of the landowners or anything like that. Uh, I'm just, you know, going by, you know, what my eyes tell me and also Google images and stuff like that. Um, I've picked some of these spots out for other uh, videos that I've done for other ideas. But if those don't work out, then maybe there's a chance that, you know, a vocational building can be put in, in one of these spots. I don't know. So, you know, I say this in ignorance, therefore, please forgive me if this is your property or you know who this belongs to and there's, you know, they don't want anything done to the property or anything like that. You know, I do apologize. I'm just, like I said, I'm just, you know, going with my eyes and just using my imagination. So forgive me for that. Okay. All right. <clears throat> So here's just some suggestions and just some ideas uh, of some things that can be put into the vocational buildings. At one end, you know, there can be an area for welding, place for metalworking, uh, automotive, uh, woodworking, including cabinet making and furniture making, home building and construction, and electrical and maybe even glass making and ceramics that type of thing where you have you know where you get really deep into you know ceramics and all that stuff <clears throat> uh, even though you know hopefully if the social center gets built there will be classes on ceramics and art and all that type of thing but with this you're actually going to be training you know kind of in a, an apprentice type way of making um, all kinds of ceramic things that can be used uh, maybe in you know from factories to you know whatever um, so it would it would be more in in depth type thing <clears throat> so and and of course naturally at this end you would need uh, you know garage type doors for some of the classes because you know especially like with automotive and woodworking and all that type of thing you know you're going to need uh, a big enough area for uh, an automobile to be driven through uh, and that type of thing also you know you would want good ventilation and all that so I think you know in in that end of the building definitely you would need garage doors that raise up and down Okay, and then at the other end, there can be things like cosmetology, you know, dealing with hair, makeup, nails, that type of thing. 
um, instead of someone having, you know, to go learn this in college, they can be trained, you know, here in the community in Russellville. Okay. Also, maybe some type of medical training. Maybe there's a way that people can, you know, either maybe get their CNA type thing or some other type of thing. I mean, I don't know. I know they got, they had uh, a thing at uh, school back when I was going to school to where uh, people uh, were taking it at the vocational building. They were learning uh, about medical stuff and all that. So, you know, maybe there's a way that, you know, th- this can happen with this. I don't know, but uh, it's just an idea. Also, fashion designing, which, of course, again, you know, some fashion stuff can be taught at the uh, social center, but uh, this would be more in-depth uh, fashion designing where you actually will be trained as if you're a fashion designer and you will learn the ins and outs of the fashion world and you will be making all types of clothing and all that maybe even do your own line of clothing and be judged on it and all that type of thing I think that would be great I think that would be a big help to people that are really really into fashion <clears throat> and also uh, agriculture People who <coughs> want to learn <coughs> about, you know, the agriculture world and about, you know, forestry and that type of thing. They really want to get trained in that area. They might want to get a job, you know, within that. So maybe, you know, this would be good for them. And of course, this is how I envision the building to look. So. I, I really hope people like this idea because I, I think it would be really good to do this. I mean, some people may think it's too much, but I don't. I think that, you know, people around here want some type of extra tra- uh, <clears throat> training and they kind of want things to be spiced up around here. Uh, so much seems so stagnant. Uh, jobs seem to be stagnant. It's the same old jobs. And, it, you know, it's like the same old thing. And people are getting sick of the low pay. Uh, pe- a lot of people have not got their paychecks raised in years. And it's time for a change. It's time for people to get retrained, learn new skills, and hopefully get better jobs. And hopefully better jobs will come here. Once people get trained and everything, maybe more businesses will come here and you know want to uh put a plant here or a store or whatever whatever the case may be so i think it's very needed and very necessary for us to do this i really do and let's state the obvious it would make russellville look good i mean it would show you know other places that russellville is really trying so i think that would be a good thing